What's going on guys? I'm in a new house. I moved. I don't know if anyone knows that, but I'm in a house now. So here I am. Uh, you can see this nice kitchen behind me, just in case you wanted to see that. And I got a new desk and a whole new setup. So now I'm standing. Hey, hey. I don't have any hair anymore either. It just, it happened. But we haven't made a video for a little while because I've been traveling and just had a lot of crazy stuff going on. But we're here now. We can make a video and it's great. Missed you guys. Hope you missed me too, even though I'm bald now. I hope you still love me even though I'm bald and I'm wearing a pink shirt um, and my lighting's not good because I haven't set up my lights yet. But today we're just going to be talking about the, uh, I guess the blog post that came out a little while ago. It seems pretty crazy to me. I'm like looking at it and I'm just like, whoa, like what's going on? So we're just going to look at it, read through it, see it, and uh, also discuss other recent events that have been going on. So we're going to get into it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we have this new blog post, right? And it's uh, got some pretty interesting stuff in it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Colossus Blitz, not because I care about Blitz, just because I'm excited to unlock Colossus because I just like him as a character. And uh, yeah, I think the X-Men team is going to be pretty cool. And uh, the first thing we are going to talk about, though, is the stuff about Phoenix. She's only having the six-star release which is pretty crazy and pretty much everybody across the board just so that we're all on the same page is going to establish this right away everybody across the board is upset about that i don't know anybody who can look at it and say oh yes i'm so pleased that they did this i think that everybody is angry about that just because it feels deceptive right because legendary events always come at five star that's been the established cadence and that's been like what we've been looking at right so it's like everybody says okay this is a legendary event let's we can trust this this is a five star. We'll be fine. Then we also look back at the old blog post that talks about how they're not going to use any characters or anything that are useless, that they would update characters before forcing us to use them. I'm actually going to look at that now. I'm going to pull it up real quick. Here's what we can see. It's right here. And it's talking about how basically when Cree came out, and this is also from uh, August 31st of last year, 2018. So this is pretty old. This is like when Nick Fury came out. And, <clears throat> you know, basically they're talking about how they're like, hey, like, we know a lot of people are angry from Nick Fury needing Cree minions and Cree minions suck. So we're going to make them better, right? So that's just kind of what they're doing. And that's like what they're talking about. And they basically say, you can read here, it says, in the long term, we're committing to making characters needed for legendary events are also relevant outside of the legendary events. This can mean individual buffs, which this would be the case for here. That would be the thing that we need here, individual buffs or creating greater synergy bonuses among the group required. Obviously, there's really no synergy of mystic villain controllers. There's no synergy at all. They're not at all. So for example, before we'd require them for an event, we'd we'd evaluate the appeal of groups like AIM or HYDRA. You know, it doesn't say that we would check the appeal of only AIM or HYDRA. It just says like AIM or HYDRA. So what I take away from that is that they're not specifically meaning AIM or HYDRA. It's just kind of like uh, groups that suck, basically. <laughs> You know, if they're bad, they're basically saying if they're bad, we're going to try and make them better. So the case that this would be is like, you know, the teams that we're using right now, like Loki is he's decent. Um, Ronan is decent. Hand Assassin is horrible. Nobu is pretty bad. And uh, Mordo is pretty good. I like Mordo pretty good. But Hand Assassin and Nobu being required for this event, and they're terrible. Just terrible. And so, like, we have to invest, and it says that the event is going to be really hard. And we are expected to invest in these characters that are just terrible. Like, to tier 11, and that's a lot of a lot of ABCs. And it just has me not interested in it. I'm going to have the characters at 6 star, so I'm going to... I got to. Like... I'm, I got them there now. Uh, Hand Assassin's like 50 away, I think. I'll definitely get there in time. But it's like, then I got to take them up to tier 11? That's nuts. I'm like, why would I want to do that? So that's just something people are really angry about that. And I understand. I'm frustrated about it too. And we've been trying to talk with Fox Next, me and the other content creators to just try and just get something out there, right? Because it's we're trying to get things changed and I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I don't expect a change, but it's very frustrating with Fox Next to, I guess, do this this way after this being posted. Like, this isn't a public forum. They can see this. We've shown this to them. So we're hoping for a change, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. But I don't know, guys. Just know that we're just as frustrated as you are. 
And um, so with Phoenix being the six star requirement only, I don't know what to think about that. Um, character should be rare. I like that the character is going to be rare, but it just seems like a real bait and switch. And that's frustrating. Very frustrating. Fox next should know better than that by now. All right. And back into this, which is the other blog post that we have moved away from. So <clears throat> it's basically talking about Alliance War updates. That's going to be better. So you're going to get more stuff for Alliance War um, because obviously the rewards for Alliance War have been a little bit lackluster. So I don't really think they're actually changing that much stuff. Um, you're getting 100k gold, 2k war credits, 500 elite war credits, and 15 ABCs. So I think you only got, did you get 50k gold before when you won? I don't really remember. It's very minor and minimal, but whatever. So that's fine, whatever. So the only thing it's really adding is it 15 ABCs to winning? I don't know, whatever. But then when you lose, you get 50k gold, 1,000 war credit, 100 elite war credits, and then 10 ABCs. It just seems like they kind of like are boosting up uh, when you lose. And I like that. That's better. It needs to be that way because it's just been terrible so far so moving forward we can see they're doing a community pool poll community pool let's go swimming <laughs> they're doing a community poll and they're just basically talking about uh which cream minion you would want in a blitz that literally that can be very helpful to some people so that could be pretty impactful maybe you're pretty close on one i know i have a friend who is like ready to go on all of them except he doesn't have cree cyborg up and so, you know, he would vote for Cree Cyborg. And so that's a pretty good thing. I think that's awesome. Uh, this could help some people get ready for Nick Fury next time he comes around, which is going to be very soon. We have Mantis added to the Blitz store. I noted, noticed this, I think, yesterday, and I was kind of like, well, when did this happen? It's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, Blitz store is kind of tough right now because I feel like I'm constantly using it for Alliance War tokens. And so, like, that kind of just feels like that's all that store is now. It's just Alliance War tokens. So... I don't know, like I would definitely want to farm Mantis and I have her almost at five star. I'm probably just going to get her to five star and probably leave her there for a little while until I figure out what I'm doing with my Alliance War stuff. I don't know. Tell me, what are your thoughts on that? Are you happy she's in there or would you prefer her to be somewhere else? <laughs> As always, our favorite time around here is Corner Blitz. Yeehaw! We can come in here and play Blitz forever because we all love doing that. So not super thrilled about that. I think it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Thanks Fox next for that one. Not a huge fan of that. And then uh, we got Colossus Blitz going. Like I said many times over, I like the X-Men. This is pretty cool. And uh, I think this is going to be great. So he's going to be blitzing or he's going to be the Blitz on uh, June 3rd and June 10th. And you, it's like I said, you'll have a couple opportunities to recruit the big fella. Um, and they're also having a blitz for Storm on June 6th. But I, I have Storm finished, so I don't know about that one. But that'll be helpful to some people. That'll also help with uh, Magneto. So that's pretty cool that they're doing that. I am curious to see if you're going to be able to use the new X-Men for Magneto. Pretty cool. I don't know why it really matters. But maybe some of them are more accessible to other people or as the game goes on. But I've had some people ask me that, and I don't know the answer. So if somebody does know the answer, uh, comment down below and uh, let me know but I don't really think that it's ever been confirmed. So that's just my opinion. Uh, and then of course we've got block party coming, which is super nice. Cause I need, a uh, need some orange mats who doesn't need more orange mats. So that'll be pretty cool. I like getting those. Um, I wish that they would bring the event back with, uh, the one where you get the ABCs, but I wish we had that one every day. So pretty much guys, that's, uh, that's what we got. That's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, sorry, I haven't been making videos recently. I feel like I say this every couple of weeks, but I moved and I was in the hospital with my sister for a little while. Uh, she's okay now. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so I'm here. I'm in the house. I uh, should be getting things back to regular uh, regular stuff. I, had, uh, I bought a new desk. I can move up and down now. You ready? Watch this. It's pretty cool. Pretty excited. Um, yeah. I'm pretty pumped for just everything moving forward. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with any thoughts that you have. If you have not joined my discord, you better get your butt in there. Link is in the description. If you are at all interested in supporting me financially, Patreon link is in the description as well. Anything else important today will be down there and I'll see you guys later. Bye.